Hey, you guys. Uh, super sorry about that. Um, just something weird, like my TV was disconnected and my internet was like, you've lost connection. I'm like, what? Okay, anyway, I know we have one more problem left and you'd be so sad if we didn't cover this. So let's do this together. Madame Curie made some radium in her lab. And by the way, this is still lesson nine continued. The problem set, module three. Uh, page 67, if you have the same type of printed workbook that I have. Madame Curie made some radium in her lab. She used two-fifths, used two-fifths of the radium in an experiment and had some left. How much radium, one and one-fourths kilogram left, how much radium did she have at first? So it uh, feels like a tape diagram problem. You can break it into parts. This is what she used. Two-fifths kilogram was used. And then she had one and one-fourths kilograms left. But we don't know how much she had at first. So the whole is unknown. And so we're going to, uh, usually th when this is a part to whole, you're trying to put these two pieces together to get the total. So if I have, let's do this over here, one and one fourth plus two fifths, kind of like we had at the previous one over here on uh, this other page. When you have a whole number, you can just bring it straight down. So I'm going to have one, but I'm, I'm going to focus on getting a common denominator. Now I know that 20th is my common denominator, four times five is 20. If five is the scale factor, it's for both. If four is the scale factor for this, it's for both the top and the bottom. So when you have your one, uh, it comes down again, and five plus eight is 13, and 20. So pretty straightforward when you put these two together. How much did she have at first? At first. Uh, the extension says if she performed the experiment, the used part, twice, how much radium would she have left then? So it's going, it's not going to impact the whole, it's going to impact what we have left. Uh, so if you have this, but this changes, it's going to creep into this territory. So I'd have two fifths used again. And uh, so the two-fifths, let's just do this part over here. This would be four-fifths kilogram used instead of two-fifths. But uh, I can take that away from my total that I do know that I have now. So if I have one and 13 twentieths, uh, and then I can take away the four-fifths, then I just have to have a common denominator for this one. Minus some twentieths. So, so in order to get from five to 20, the scale factor is four, so I would multiply four times four. Now the problem here is that I wouldn't take away 16 from 13 because I can't do that. So this is a perfect opportunity to take this one call it 20 twentieths. Remember, like we can do this in subtraction. Take away the 16 twentieths that I need to take away, get 4 twentieths, and then reattach the 13 twentieths that I uh, still did not use from this one. So then it becomes this little tiny addition problem, and um, I end up with 17. 20th kilograms. And um, so that's if the experiment is doubled. So hopefully this is helpful. If you guys find these videos helpful, click subscribe, tell your friends they could subscribe too. Um, I know a lot of teachers, even when I was brand new, I did not really understand this program very well. And sometimes if it like stumps me, I will be just confused and uh, I understand it, these are hard. These are really hard problems for the kids, for you kids. So if it's helpful, click subscribe. I just want to help you kids out. Have a great day. See you on the next one.